Okay, Kodge Biker here, and today I'm fitting an EVO tank ring. Okay, that previous tank wasn't quite true because I'd already fitted this ring and I took it off again so I can show you how it goes on because I had a bit of an issue with this tank ring and it all came down to one of the SW Motec screws would not go into the tank without force and I didn't want to strip the threads as obviously a fault on the actual screw so I had to purchase a replica which is a 16 millimeter um, screw I think it's five millimeters can't remember the diameter so don't quote me on that which is just bad luck I suppose it's very unlikely you'd have the same problem so to fit the ring you have to remove one two three four screws at the front of the tank you can see I already loosened them and unfortunately you have to fit the ring in the opposite direction to what it is designed because the fuel tank opens towards what they describe as the cockpit so this ring is designed really to go that way but on this bike it has to be fitted that way no big deal for me but it might annoy some people and the problem I had was this screw here would not the one supply just would not fit so I had to buy a new one it's quite straightforward otherwise well there is one thing to take note of that these screws are different sizes there is a a longer one here and a longer one here a shorter one there and a shorter one there now because the tank ring has a thickness to it that long one there has to be a bit longer to take into account that the short one there has to be a bit longer uh, the short one there has to be a bit longer and the long one there has to be even longer so the screws turn out to be four different sizes instead of two different sizes a bit complicated but it would be okay if the school screws that had been provided worked which mine didn't but as I say probably just bad luck so we remove first of all the four screws a short one which means this one will be a long one as you can see oh yeah be very careful I did drop a screw down the side of there and it went inside the bike and I had a heck of a job to get a magnet in there to um, pull it out so I'm just going to uh, prevent that happening yeah so just put some cloths there just to stop any screws from flinging down particularly down this left hand side when it's on the side stand now I've got a paddock stand at the moment for demonstration purposes but I had it on the side stand that screw fell out fell down that well went right in behind the radiator I had to use a magnet on a stick it took me a good 20 minutes to get it out so put something to stop screws from falling down there is my experience this one is a uh, shorter one so this one will be a longer one There you go. Okay, so another annoyance with this um, particular piece of equipment, unlike SW Motor, they don't provide you with any Allen keys or similar. And also, for some reason which I couldn't figure out, they provide you with a screw that you don't need, which is that one. This screw was knackered, wouldn't work, so I had to purchase this one. You can see, because I've already had it on and taken off, I did use thread locker, which I'll be using again on that. Um, and also, they are two different sizes. That's four millimeter, that one's three millimeter, so you need two Allen keys to fit this. Nothing insurmountable, just annoying from what you'd expect to be a high quality piece of equipment. Right, so let's go and fit it to the bike. So again, it's not a big job. Just have to make sure you get the right screws in the right place. From memory, this one goes here. This one goes here. They're the round, round-headed ones. 
they go at the front this one will go here and this one should go here so short long short long so just common sense really just position the screws before you fasten them make sure you've got them in the right place so long one goes there you can feel that it's the right place and uh, this one caused me all the problems that one there the screw provided by STB Motec just would not go in and uh, the feared stripping the thread so purchased that one you can see it's slightly different but uh, it doesn't matter okay so we're going to put a bit of thread locker on those tighten them up there's only really one thing to be, be aware of and that is that when you that you check that this will open once this ring is tightened up because um, it's possible this can close up and then you won't be able to put any fuel in your tank which could be a nuisance if you're hundreds of miles away as I will be next time I refuel so let's tighten those up annoyingly you have to have two allen keys apply some uh, blue thread locker to those okay just before you do your final tightening up do check that the tank will open and it does that's the ring as I say it will be very annoying to be 200 miles away not have the tools because it takes two allen keys to sort this job out and uh, you wouldn't be able to get into your tank I'm not talking them there's no talk specifications so I'm just going to use the flex of the allen key to guide me on the tension that should uh, do the job it's solid and the bag fits on it there is a second video on the tank bag which um, you may want to see if you check my channel uh, one thing what I remember is the algorithm on YouTube has changed once more such that uh, more popular videos or more popular subjects get recommended motorbike vlogs are not getting recommended so in order to see anything on this channel you're probably wise to subscribe and hit the notification bell it's up to you but, um, we'll keep putting things up from time to time um, I'm not a professional youtuber I'll never make any money out of it so it doesn't really bother me uh, though it's nice to get the feedback so Codger Biker is out